The Jackson City Council is expected to vote tomorrow on the mayor's proposition to grant Richard's disposal a six-year contract for garbage pickup. Now, we caught up with a council member ahead of that meeting. 12 News' Cameron Smith joins us live now in studio. Cameron, what did the councilman you spoke with have to say? Yeah, Melanie, I talked to Ward 1 Councilman Ashley Foote on the proposed contract that's on the agenda tomorrow. He's hoping changes he's proposing, like removing the carts, will lower cost. Councilman Foote is hoping to make some changes to the contract. I think that uh, would improve it and lower the cost some. And, you know, whether it gets passed by the council, I can't say. If an agreement can't be made by the end of March, when the emergency contract runs out... We'll all be in hot water if it doesn't get done. Foote has concerns about carts in the contract. That makes the contract more expensive by about four and a half million dollars over the life of the contract. And so I'd like to eliminate the carts from the contract. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. Under the proposed contract, the city would pay Richard's disposal $891,000 a month. That includes the cost of purchasing and delivering 45,000 carts. There's 45,000 contracts times uh, the cart that costs around $96. So uh, that's a lot of money. I asked Councilman Foote if he knew about how much the monthly cost would increase for Jacksonians. It certainly would have an impact on that. It depends on how the vendors uh, decided to cover the co cost of those 45,000 carts. And so there's going to be, it's just a tough issue. Also in tomorrow's council meeting agenda, Councilman Kenneth Stokes proposed an ordinance to prohibit the city to award Richard's disposal the garbage contract. The city council will vote on the mayor to ex execute award Richard's disposal with a six-year contract starting April 1st with four one-year extensions. Money.